The following content may be unsuitable for certain viewers. If you do find this content offensive, well, that's your f***ing problem, a-hole. Alright, alright! Yo, yo, yo! Coming to you live from Philly. It's the number one rated Paul and Tony Fusco Show! Yo, yo, yo! As always, Polly Fusco here with Tony Fusco and Tony. Yo! Huge show today. Yeah, You know, golfer uh, Scotty wait. Scheffler in some hot water, but you know, yeah, we're gonna point is. out everything, the obvious stuff here that the media, the foolish media, just refuses so to point out. Yep. And also, we're gonna weigh in on Harrison Butker's uh, so-called controversial comments. Can't wait. You know, we're gonna explain why he said nothing controversial in the slightest, okay? Exactly, And uh, plus, bro. we're gonna open up the Fusco Sports Hotline and take calls from you out there, so don't suck. But before yeah. that, uh, some show business. You know, last week we told you, you know, we were gonna launch this comment contest where whoever yep. left the best comment on our YouTube or Apple podcast would win a prize from our merch store. Yep. Well, just so you know, you can get free shipping on all items May 23rd to May 26th. Anyway, wow. you know, Ooh. some of you out there left some great comments about how flawless the show is. And uh, yep, we know, thank good. you. But uh, this week's winner, Gabriel Fiores. Uh, his yeah. comment was a great one. He said, uh, who even lets this absolute goof producer Jay on the show? Can we boot him and his atrocious corrections? See, that's wow. how it's done. Wow, flawless people. comment, great bro. Comment. I, yeah. I thought these were just going to be randomly selected. What are you, why are you yeah, talking? You're gonna, you're gonna, shut up. You're going to be randomly selected to get punched in the face, bro. Yeah, Quiet. bro, anyway, exactly. You go ahead, do your job. You email him about his prize. And then yeah, people less out talking. There, uh, we're going to do the contest again. So uh, go on YouTube, post as many comments as you want below this video. Video and uh, whoever writes the best one will get a prize, okay? Yep, just leave the comment and that's it. You're done. You're entered. Just yep. like Jay has never entered a woman. Ah, see, that was a great comment by you, Tony. And look yeah, at him, he's upset. Bro, that you're done. Anyway, look, he yeah. said he again, can't handle bro. the truth. Okay, nope. all right, look, now that that's all out of the way, all right, it's time to get into our top story. Top story. All right, first out the gate, you know, while the PGA Championship is usually the most boring and forgettable of all the golf majors, let alone sporting yeah, events, is. this time, a different story, the shocking arrest of world number one golfer Scotty Scheffler after he ignored a police officer yep. and tried to drive around him. Now, a lot of people, you know, they're saying this was the result of a misunderstanding, and, uh, you know, you can clearly see that those people are 100% right, can't you, Tony? Of course. You know, it's easy to see why Scotty Scheffler got confused driving. Have you ever seen a golfer drive a golf cart? They basically drive it anywhere they want. Yep. I mean, the cart path is usually the last place they drive the cart. You yep. know, Scotty Scheffler was probably behind the wheel of his car and started thinking, wait, shouldn't I be on the grass right now? Just terrific insight there, Tony. And you know, when you think about it, now Thank it makes you. perfect sense why Tiger Woods got in all those car accidents. Exactly. I mean, like when he ran into that tree, he was probably, you know, just trying to take a shortcut through the grass. And, you know, when he got in that accident because he was speeding, he probably just forgot he was driving a car and not a golf cart. Yep. You know, he thought the top speed would be, you know, something like 15, 20 miles per hour. Yep. He probably slammed down on the pedal and thought, oh, shit, I forgot I'm in a car. Just terrific insight there by you, Tony. And, you know, another angle to the Scheffler you. story that uh, the scared, pathetic media just refuses to cover. People are wondering why a world-famous athlete like Scotty Scheffler could just blatantly ignore the law. Well, I got two words for you. OJ. Isn't that right, Tony? Exactly. You know, once OJ showed that athletes can do whatever they want and not follow laws and murder at will... Other athletes saw that as, you know, Cote Blanche. Yep. Scotty was probably in that car thinking, you know, if OJ could murder two people and get away with it, then surely I can drive on the shoulder. Just all makes sense when you put it in perspective like that. Anyway, yeah, we got to move Thank on you. to this, this so-called controversy out of the NFL. You know, Chiefs kicker Harrison Butker, he's under fire for comments he made at a college graduation ceremony where he basically implied that the most important thing a woman can do with her life is have babies and raise a family. And well, Tony, you know, when I heard these comments, I didn't think they were wrong, did you? Not at all. I mean, you know, these people attacking Butker here, they're saying his comments set women back. But what about their comments? Exactly. Aren't they, aren't they the ones setting motherhood back? Exactly. I mean, if my great-grandmother 
heard that people were complaining about this, she would have been absolutely disgusted, wouldn't she, Downey? Oh, yeah. You know, my great-grandmother would have been livid over people saying Butker's comments were bad for women. Yep. That woman loved nothing more than being in the kitchen and cooking meals day and night to feed her 17 kids. Yep. You know, you never heard that woman complain even once. Yep. And, you know, she did have the chance to get a job and have a career as either a low-paid secretary or a part-time cleaning lady. But yep. she didn't want that because she knew that what mattered most was her family and yep. the eight meals they ate each day. Yep. And when she died at the tender age of 46 due to a massive coronary embolism, we immediately knew how much we would miss her because the fridge was empty because she hadn't gone food shopping in two days and it was getting past dinner time. Wow, just such a beautiful tribute there, Tony, to your great-grandmother and also, you know, great-grandmothers everywhere. And, uh, Thank you know, you. well, you know, let's try and turn the energy around, yeah, Tony. We got do a little it. sentimental there, a little yeah, sentimental. Yeah, yep. but, uh, you know, hey, it's time on the subject of women. Let's get into our favorite topic, the WNBA. WNBA you know, a lot of yeah. buzz right now, Tony. Yep. A lot of people, you know, they're saying uh, these games are exciting and thrilling, you know, revolutionizing sports, changing the yep. face of basketball forever but you know i gotta be honest I, I just don't see it tony you know me i too. watched a couple yeah. minutes of a game the other night and well there was no dunking i mean you gotta have dunking right absolutely you know all these wnba games are all about shooting passing rebounding defense that's not basketball. Nope. You've got to have dunking. Yep. I mean, just look at the greatest basketball game ever. Of course, I'm talking about NBA Jam. Yep. That game was all about showmanship. Yep. Nobody ever cared who the computer helped win or lose. Nope. All they cared about was the dunks and getting the announcer to say boom shakalaka. And of course, seeing which player broke the backboard first. Yep. That's what mattered most. Yep. And it's a shame how these younger generations have forgotten that integral part of the game. Just so well said there, Tony. And you know, I'll tell you what the problem here is. It's these woke analytic people out there. Yep. You know, they hated basketball because they thought it discriminated against short people. So, so basically what they did is they made the short people shots count for three points and the tall people shots count for two. And that's a terrible, isn't it? Yeah, but you know what? I just thought of something. A great way to bring back more dunk into basketball. What? You know how people love the slam dunk competition? Yep. Well, what if we incorporated that into the game? You know, a oh. guy or girl does a slam dunk during the game, then there's a judge who gives them a score of one to 10. And that score gets added to the team score. Wow. Just an absolutely amazing idea that yeah. Tony. Just imagine a game going like this. The Timberwolves are down by nine to the Mavs with eight seconds to go. The game is clearly over. No, wait, not yet. Here oh. comes Anthony Edwards. He's going down the lane and jams home the windmill 360 dunk. Boom. Let's go to the judges. It's a 10-pointer. T-Wolves win. The crowd is electric. Wow. I am just getting chills, Tony, just hearing that. That was amazing. Brilliant. You know, we know Adam Silver. We know you're listening to the show out there. So there's a free idea for you. There you go. Terrific there job, you go. Tony. Yeah, you can all thank us later for that. Yeah, anyway, you're welcome, you know, bro. To another story just quick out of the NBA, you know, ESPN, they're being criticized, as usual, but this time for their coverage of the Knicks-Pacers game, which was just so shameful. In that Game 7, they seemed so overly biased in favor of the Knicks. And Tony, you know, we agree with the critics here, don't we? You know, it's such a terrible look for people in this space, you know, journalists, to be showing Horrible. preference toward one team or another. You, you can't do that, right? Frankly, it's shameful when journalists are so obviously biased toward one team. Yep. You know, this is why on this show, we not only give you unbiased opinions, we give you hard stats and research to support them. Yep. Like, when we say the Eagles are the most clutch team in all of football, that's not us being fans. Nope. I mean, just look up the stat that measures clutchness best. Of course, that's fourth down conversion percentage. Yep. And last season, who led the league? Boom, the Eagles at 73.1%. 
clearly, nobody's more clutch when it counts. Can't argue with those numbers, Tony, nope. anyway. Yeah, all right. Before we get to callers, uh, just a quick word right now from our good friends at Zillow. Do you want to see houses that you can't possibly afford? Zillow. Yeah, if you're in the market to buy a house, Zillow will show you why you shouldn't be. Zillow, making people feel bad about themselves since 2008. Yeah, Zillow. there All right, you go. There you go. Okay, Boom, quick check I see in the, our, mail. Uh, the callers are lighting up, phones lighting up, so let's go ahead and open the Fusco Sports Hotline. Fusco Sports Hotline. All right, all right. Tell us your name. I'm Caleb. All right, then where are you show. from, Caleb? Where are you from, bro? I'm from Utah, bro. Oof. Sorry to hear that, bro. Salt Lake City? Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 sir. Just super close to there. It's uh, not as cool as Philly, so I might be moving. So There you go, bro. Yeah, okay, right. so well, we're off to a good, a good start. start. Yeah, that's Anybody how you start. Anybody who's getting yes, out sir. of Utah clearly knows what they're doing. All right, Caleb, why are you calling today? Hey. You got to take what's going on. Yeah, man, so I have a question and more of a take. So you know how Miles Garrett won defensive player? Hold on, are you first? driving a car right now? No, no, I'm Pull over, car, bro. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Okay, Hold over, bro. Okay. Yeah, we don't want don't a Scotty Se- Scheffler situation. Yeah, we don't want any Scotty Scheffler right. stuff here, bro. Yeah. All right. Yes, you know. Sir. Okay. I, I got if you. he can go to jail, buddy, anybody can. Yeah, okay. Exactly. All right. What's your question? Go. Rashid Rice, mate. Yeah. Um, my question, bro, is you know how Miles Garrett won twenty twenty three Defense Player of the Year? Robbery, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I feel like Kadarius Tony should have won it, and the reason why is because that man. What? Won the defense so many games. The amount of interceptions he created just for, for all those teams, I think it makes a lot of sense. What show do you think you're calling into, bro? Yeah, bro. Kadarius Tony, Kadarius Tony, bro? But you, so you're coming on an Eagle show, and you're talking to us about Kadarius Tony. Yeah. Do you have some kind of, you know, mental Herschel Walker dissociative disorder, bro? Yeah, What's bro. your problem? You know, you I know, don't know what's going on in Utah, I, bro. I don't know I, if you're ready you to something. cut it for Philly, bro. Yeah, this is you, the problem with this Utah. This is the problem people. with you Utah. Know, this is why bro. they have all those problems in Utah because they're so divorced. Yeah, from bro, men, from reality. That's yeah, why they don't have I an mean, NFL team, bro. That's why there's nothing going on over there, bro. They thought about this. They said, oh, should, should we do, put a team in, in Utah? I, they said, no, the it? fans don't know anything. Okay, what should I do, bro? Should, should I? What well, first, I do? you got to get out of Utah. It's clearly yeah. ruining your brain. You exactly, don't even know what show bro. you're You're calling an Eagles show with a hot Chiefs take, number yeah. one. Just fly to Philly, run up and down yeah. the Rocky Steps a few times, get that be Philly. Your, yeah, exactly. Yeah, be get around the feeling, real human beings get a cheese who steak. know how the world works. Exactly, yeah. bro. Buy a Nick Foles will. jersey and then slowly start to reteach yourself, bro. Wake up you from your brain would you like, yeah, Would you like another attempt at a question? Like, imagine now you live in Philly, okay? Yeah. Imagine we're in Philly right now. Now you think of, think of a better question. Yeah. Mm. Oh, mm. and you know what? I don't have a question. I, I, yeah, I guess what? I got a question. Brain, I got, yeah. The question is why you ever bothered calling yeah, this Yeah, exactly. Because guess <laughs> what, Caleb Harris? Harris? Guess what, You're Caleb? You're in a hairy situation. You're done. It's called off You're the show. The show. <laughs> Get out of here. Bring we thought Caleb Williams was the worst Tony. Caleb. It's Caleb Harris. He's and off the show. Your terrible takes. Get him out of here. See ya. You know, just bringing up the name Kadarius Tony is an insult to all people named Tony. Tony. Yeah, Kadarius Tony. He's the worst Tony, bro. Not even close. Yep. It's like me, Tony Fusco, then Tony Danza, then all the rest of the Tonys, bro. All right. Where's our next caller, bro? Who do we got, bro? We have a Michael. You we got who? A Michael. Uh, Michael? I think uh, Michael. his name's just Michael. No, it's just bro, Michael, but, okay. bro. A Probably Michael. Michael. You know, maybe a Michael. You I don't never know. know. You never bro. know what names these Michael days. You Michael know? Michael. Oh, no. Oh, are you oh. kidding me? It's that Miami Mike. I would call you not Mike. to let this He's guy on the show the anymore. Show. Oh, oh what is this? What are Mama you doing, Luke, bro? bro? This is my favorite show. Uh, your, your favorite show is watching a team not make a Super Bowl for uh, 40 straight years. Dolphins. Listen, oh. I'm out and about. I figured I didn't want to intimidate you guys. You guys always seem a little nervous when I call from oh, the studio. You I thought I called nervous because you're going to ruin our show with your shitty takes. Well, come on. It's a good time to talk a little Dolphins. We'll uh, the official, yeah, the great time to talk about the Dolphins is never. Totally exactly, irrelevant, bro. bro. This guy thinks it's 1982. Yeah. Okay, what do you want to talk about next? Uh, Asia's next album? Go. 
You guys done? Can I say something? All right, fine, go. Go. All right, listen. We're connected. You got Hurts, the guy who got pulled to a, you know, came in for a national championship oh, right, game. You got what? him. He signed a, what, a two, a, what, a five-year, $255 million contract? Right. That's what Hurts got, right? Just bro. go, bro. Get bro. to your point, So bro. what do you think? What I want to know what you guys, because there's a lot of controversy about Tua. If that's what Hurts got, what should Tua get? Five years, five hundred million. Oh, you should Nothing, get five years bro. in prison back for up, that take, bro. bro. Just you know, like he was in Alabama, you know, you, bro. Back up. Yeah. Jalen Hurts did all the Dude work, is bro. The he did Jaylen all the Hurts work, bro. Somebody had to come up and mop it up and, you know, get that hey, You need to be mopped no, off the bro. show. No, bro. Jalen Hurts did all the work, and then Nick Saban, no class. He put in Tua when Jalen should have had that comeback, and guess what? They chased Nick Saban out of town. He's done now. Yeah, he worked the bench. That's what uh, he worked. Get he worked out the of bench. here, Tua. This call is going Tua long, if you ask me, yeah, bro. I, you've been oh, a man. Dolphins fan for, what, what, how your entire life? When are you going to wake up and realize you're making some terrible choices here? Oh, I would love to come to Philly to eat. The football's trash, but I heard the food is good. Oh. So I would enjoy oh, now it. He's in there. Are you kidding me, no. bro? You know what's going in the trash. Yeah. It's you on it's this you, show. bro. Because guess what? Guess what? You're out of You're here. You're out of here. Miami Get out of Mike. here. Get out You're of here. Miami, cut off on his on mic. Bench. Off the Put show. Him on the bench. Get oh, back to the bench with you. Yeah, go drive off a cliff there, bro. We forgot to find out if his real name is a Michael or Michael, though. So. Yeah, I forgot, bro. Okay. All right. Who's next? Who's next, bro? John is next. John. Okay. Is it a John okay. or John, bro? Just yeah, John. you're done. All right, John. Where are you, bro? Is he on? I don't even Hello? see anything. He might be in the John. That's why it yeah, says John. Exactly, he's, bro. He's telling us he's not John here. He's in is the in the John. The John. Maybe his real name's like Bill. Yeah. And he just wrote John because he's not here. He's probably taking a piss. Exactly, bro. It's all right. We got somebody okay, else. All right. Who's next? Tyler. I see his name is Tyler Forrest. Is he in the forest like Tyler That's in the forest? That's a good question. See, maybe these people are just telling him. You know, John was in are. the oh, John. There he is. All right. He's not in a forest. He's not okay, in a so forest. I'm assuming forest is your last name, Tyler Forrest? That is my last name, yeah. All right. And where are you calling us from? Vermont. Basically, so he is in the forest, forest, bro. You're, yeah, Pretty you much. called it, though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you know, we've had some rough takes with a lot of people Horrible, who seem to bro. live far from You got to save it, reality. bro. Uh, all right. Go ahead. What's your take, Tyler Forrest? Uh, well, I just wanted to bring to light a little bit of an issue that I've been hearing about lately. Um, okay. I've just been. I've heard from multiple people that the uh, the Phillies have been cheating. Give what? us your evidence, bro. Yeah, what evidence, bro? Okay. Who's who's their best pitcher? Who's, who's their, best, their pitcher? best pitcher? What are you getting at? You're saying Rangers is is using the, the uh, Rennell Blanco juice. Is yeah, that what you're you think saying? that we do Rangers the Rennell Blanco? Is, is that your argument? I think their best pitcher is Alvarado. Do you want to know why? Okay, He's go. the only one not using steroids. You know, you're just saying this because you live in Vermont. You're all a bunch of vegetarians, all bony. So everyone looks like they're on steroids to you. It's because we're built okay. different, bro. We got the guns, bro. You know, people in Vermont, they're built like sticks. Yeah, exactly. What did you eat for dinner last night? Was it, was it chickpeas and hummus? What did you eat there in Vermont? We mostly just consume maple syrup. Yeah, exactly. No nutritional yeah, value, yeah, bro. Yeah. Philly, all natural, bro. You kidding me? You saw Rocky Four when he's training. He's yeah. lifting rocks and doing all that stuff. Natural, you know, This bro. is why Vermont doesn't have an NFL team. There's nobody in the whole state that's big enough. Bro, who does Vermont root for in football, bro? The New England Patriots. We're, we're in New England. New England Patriots! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. And they play by the book, oh, don't yeah. they? Oh, yeah. You're talking about cheaters. This book. guy's a well, Patriots yeah, fan, what? bro. Yeah. Oh, guess let what, me record bro. that practice, I'm going to make bro. you like Tom Brady's oh, this cell ball phone. has too you're much air, in bro. Trash. Well, guess what's yeah, out of here? You're out of here. Show. And you're out of here, bro. Off the show. You should be on steroids because your balls are so tiny. You're off the show. Bro. You know what? All right. Now shut down the Fusco Shut down the Fusco Sports Hotline. Shut, shut it down. down. Fusco Sports Hotline. Fusco Sports Hotline.
All right, close it up. Yeah, close, close up it up the up. line. You know, d- don't let them ruin, which was just a terrific yeah, show it was all perfect, around. Bro. Of course, we want to thank our good friends at Zillow. Yeah, thank and, you. Uh, hello. Wait. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, you again? What do you want, they, Producer yeah. Jay? What? Corrections. Yeah, the correction should be you shouldn't be on the show anymore. Yeah, exactly, right. bro. What? what do you want? Go, hurry up. You said the Eagles are the most clutch team in the league because they led the NFL last year in fourth down percentage. Can't argue the stats, bro. Yeah, that's called research, bro. But the Eagles lost six of their last seven games last year. That, that's like the opposite of clutch. Oh, yeah, well, after the show, you're going to be the opposite of alive. Yeah, I'm going to opposite on your face till you're dead. Oh, oh you're great done. Great one, Tony. Let's nope, get out of here. That's nope, it. Nope, Show's nope, over. Nope. What? Hurry up. You said the phrase car tape blanche. Yeah, bro. Too big a word for you, bro? No. Actually, it's two words. And you got both of them wrong. It's carte blanche. You, you shouldn't be using these words if you don't even know how to pronounce them. Oh, yeah, well, I'm going to carte your dead body into the woods and leave it there. Yeah, and then I'm going to take my chainsaw and cut you into little pieces. Oh, oh great he's one, done. Tony. That's it. Let's go. Show's mm, over. Mm, We're what? done. No, no, what? No, no. You said you actually agreed with Harrison Bucker that it's better for women to be stay-at-home moms. Tradition, bro. That's how our great-grandmothers wanted it, bro. I, I get that this has become a sports story. But there are certain subjects you two have no business discussing. And this is definitely one of them. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to subject you to a beating. You know, you actually remind me of my great-grandmother. Dead. Oh! Oh, Great one, Tony. Great way to end the show. And here's an even better way. Just came across... Booked on the show next Who? week, Super Bowl Who? hero, Eagles legend Nick Foles will be Whoa! here. Hey, don't forget, leave Huge. as many comments as you want on this video. The best one's going to be taking home yeah, a prize bro. from a merch store. And hey, Tony, great job as always. Same to you, Paulie. Another flawless show. There you go. We'll see you people next week. See ya.